finding inputs and outputs of a two-step function that models a real-world situation, function notation. So here's my story or my context. Deborah wants to save $600 to buy a TV. She saves $17 each week. The amount, A, in terms of dollars, A for amount, that she still needs after W weeks is given by the following function. So the amount with respect to the number of weeks, or A of W, is equal to 600 minus 17W. So this is what she wants to save, right? Subtract $17 a week will be what she has left to save, okay? So if Deborah still needs $311, how many weeks has she been saving? So this one is the output, okay? She still needs 311, that's the amount, okay? So I'm gonna write that as the first number, or I'm gonna replace the A of W with the 311 equals 600 minus 17W. So they gave us the output, how much she has left to save. They're asking us to solve for how many weeks has she been saving, the input. She, uh, she needs to save a total of 600, okay? If she saves $17 a week, right, or take away what she's already saved, how much does she have left to save is the $311. So we're just gonna solve this equation, get the W by itself. Before I work on any numbers attached directly to the W or the coefficient, I wanna get rid of any other terms on this same side, so I'm gonna zero out this 600, balance my equation by doing the same thing on the other side. 311 minus 600 gives me negative 289 is equal to negative 17W. Then I'm going to, remember this is implied multiplication right there, negative 17 times W. The inverse is divide by negative 17 to get rid of that. And to keep my equation balanced, I have to do the same thing on the other side. So if I do negative 289 divided by negative 17, I get positive 17. So 17 equals W. Okay, so how many weeks has she been saving? We got 17 weeks. All right, part B says, how much money does Deborah still need after six weeks? This time they're giving us the W or the input. Okay, so the amount she's still gonna need, right, the amount she still needs with respect to the weeks she's been saving is equal to 600 minus $17 a week for six weeks. So I just need to simplify this numerically, do the calculation or the arithmetic there. So 600 minus 17 times six gives me 498. Okay, so how much money does she still need after six weeks? The answer is 498.